Good morning, everybody. My name is Kathleen. Welcome to my channel. Hello, Kathleen Green. I just hopped out the shower and now I'm fixing my hair to go on my interview. I'm not going to wear it out, of course. I just have to brush out. Well, brush it out. Take out the twist. Brush it out and put it back in a slick bun like I usually do. So I have a lot to do today. And like I said, a lot of big decisions are being made today. So I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm so ready for this big transition of my life. My hair is nice and slicked back. I love this look. I just feel like such a professional. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I can do anything in this hairstyle because my hair is not in my way. My bold face is showing and it's like I'm ready for the That's the hotel I'm staying in. Right there. And I just had my interview. I think went well, it's pretty short. They didn't do a tour of the floor or anything because it's a float pool, so kind of going everywhere. So you can't really do a float. I mean, you can't really do a tour of one floor. I'm back at Honest Market. You get my car. I got cookies and casa. How do you say this again? Casa, casava, casava, casava root. Okay, cut. Don't zoom in on my pimple. Look how cute this is. Oh, little honey bear. So this is my cart. This is probably gonna come out to like $100. These carts, they're plastic, so they're so much lighter to push and it's so easy to push around. I just finished food shopping and the total came up to $67, so I was close about almost 100. But it just sucks how healthy food is just so expensive. Especially healthy to go food is super expensive, but gotta make it do what it do. So I'm touring Albany right now, and all these houses with X's on them are condemned, meaning that people can't even live there, and the bank owns them. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about Albany anymore, but I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Easy how so many buildings are condemned. Wow. I'm at the next hospital in Albany for my interview. See my groceries in the back. Um, I gotta take my inhaler and then I'm gonna head in and I have to pee really, really bad. <sighs> Lot to think about. And then I have to drive the hour home. Oh, stress about that, but I'll be okay. I know I'll be fine. This pimple still looks really crazy. So I haven't been vlogging that much today. After my interviews, it really took a lot of energy out of me. But once I got back up here, I took the hour drive home and I survived. I'm just so happy because I've been so paranoid about driving and that's the longest that I ever drove in a long time by myself. So I'm very proud of myself for making big girl moves. Even though it's not a big deal to some people, it's a big deal to me. But after that, I just went to the library and then I'm here at Spot now. It's about nine something. I'm gonna go meditate by the water because everything is shifting right now and I need to regroup and recenter per usual. So thank you so much for watching this vlog, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas as much as I am. And I'm so excited to be helping you guys who are going through your process to go to nursing school or you're going through prereqs or just whatever stage you're in. I'm excited to help you guys. I've been getting a lot of feedback on Instagram about um how i'm inspiring people about what i've been through and it just means a lot to me so thank you guys for reaching out to me because this is my life purpose i'm here to help you guys i know what it's like to struggle i know what it's like to think that you're not going to get in i know but there's a way for everything it might not be the way that you want it to be because trust me i would rather be home right now back on long island but this is what i have to do to live my dream and serve my life purpose and you know just me being upstate is just something i have to do like i said in my nursing school video my journey to nursing school video i said that i was looking at schools in freaking puerto rico i did not care where i was gonna go as long as i was gonna become a nurse but thankfully i was able to stay in new york state because that was the best thing for me but anyway thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram on twitter on snapchat all my links are in the description box below so we can be friends and you guys can talk to me and i'm just super excited i'll see you guys tomorrow